Uh, I'd like to talk about the book I read. Uh, this is called Gan. A gan is the Japanese word for wild geese. So I think uh, some of the other translation is the uh, uh, the English title is called Jap uh, the wild geese in uh, title. And uh, this particular translation is kind of relatively new by Glenn Anderson. And uh, but there's other translation also uh, available. But uh, um, this particular book, what I picked, um, Ogai Mori was uh, you know, my uh, writer to go to after Soseki Natsume uh, because there are the two giants there, Soseki Natsume and Ogai Mori are the two giants writer in Meiji era and uh, pretty much at the same time and uh, as a matter of fact uh, uh, Ogai Mori uh, wrote about uh, 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 Soseki in the uh, fiction called The uh, Youth, the Seinen, uh, The Youth. But anyway, so they, they know each other, and as a matter of fact, the house uh, Ogai Mori lived later, uh, Soseki Natsume lived at the same um, house, uh, but different time, of course. Uh, so anyway, that particular house is the, uh, I think uh, now it's a museum or some place like that, uh, uh, in somewhere uh, in Tokyo. And so, um, uh, Ogai Mori, is, I, I read uh, just recently uh, his short story called Takase Bune, uh, which is the uh, uh, name of the, uh, the boat that going to uh, uh, send uh, this prisoner to the, uh, this prison in the island away from Japanese main island a little bit away and uh, uh, so that particular short story is Takasebune which is uh, kind of a strong and sad story and uh, the other uh, things I remember is uh, Kenji Mizoguchi's uh, movie called uh, um, uh, Sancho the Belief, Belief, I think, Sancho Dayu uh, in Japanese. And uh, that I saw it also, uh, you know, when I came to the US, I saw it in the 1980s, probably, somewhere around that time. I saw it here in this country. And it's a beautiful film, and, uh, but it's very sad. And uh, this is not the exception. This is also beautifully written and uh, depicting the, uh, um, the woman uh, societies uh, different from the men's society uh, in Japan and Meiji era. Uh, because traditionally, um, women is always uh, a subservient to the a husband or the man uh, they, uh, they live with and uh, so uh, that depiction in this fiction is very very strong here uh, because the woman herself is a young beautiful very capable uh, woman and a very smart woman and uh, but because of the circumstances like the cultural environment, traditional attitude, uh, she suffers. She suffers um, for getting uh, the, her own happiness, yeah, but she resigned to her um, you know, society's norm or whatever. And so in that sense, uh, this particular story is kind of sad. And uh, I don't want to uh, spoil because uh, one of the things that uh, you can enjoy this story is that uh, you read it without knowing anything. But I will tell you a little bit. Um, uh, there's uh, this uh, young medical student who was walking by the house of this young woman. Uh, young woman is a mistress already 
and uh, but they kind of uh, fell in love to each other without uh, speaking any word to each other. Uh, so just a love in the first sight or love in you know from far distance. Uh, that particular relationship, uh, you know, like a lingers for a long, long time. And uh, but of course that particular uh, relationship uh, will, uh, you know, ho you know the reader hope that it does go somewhere, uh, and uh, hoping that uh, uh, that will happen. Uh, but that's questionable there. And uh, also um, depictions of the uh, men, men's especially men's. Uh, Japanese men's uh, attitude toward the uh, toward the woman, for one thing, uh, and also toward the country where uh, the major era become all of a sudden westernized, and uh, this samurai culture uh, all of a sudden changes to something else, something that uh, uh, people in major era uh, aspired to look for Western culture. So that particular intellectual's attitude toward the Western culture is uh, depicted here also uh, very, uh, very nicely. And also the third uh, group of people who are uh, maybe uh, more or less like a, uh, don't uh, pay attention to the, uh, um, you know, the equality of the man or woman or, or the people's happiness or anything like that but the one thing in his mind is to to achieve something very hard and sacrificing everything else so in that sense um, this particular uh, fiction is kind of uh, surprising to me uh, to see those depictions uh, of the major Japanese society and especially the woman, young woman, beautiful young woman uh, who you know wishes and, and try to naively try to uh, meet with this young man and try to uh, establish the particular meetings as much as possible but that was kind of a um, you know uh, not become a reality. So, you know, as much as I could say, uh, this one, I think, uh, uh, more or less, you have to understand the Japanese culture, uh, traditional culture, that uh, uh, people uh, are staying in the particular replaced society of the woman, and uh, uh, they kind of accept and uh, they, uh, no, they are not happy, but they kind of resign to the particular position, and uh, uh, that uh, I I feel tremendously, uh, um, you know, uh, angry about that particular uh, social uh, norm of that time or the, in the past. Today, I think uh, uh, men and women in Japan are uh, you know, trying to be equal. I think a lot of uh, the female um, uh, writers and uh, so forth is uh, very, very common in Japan. And, uh, but still, uh, this discrimination against uh, the men, uh, uh, against the women, uh, uh, kind of a, a traditional uh, things there, and I know the some other world too. I think it's a it's a kind of a, a matter of degrees. Uh, those men and women, you know, are differences existing in most of the country. And the U.S. is the same way a little bit, but uh, you know, much more liberated here in the U.S. Uh, so in that sense, uh, I think uh, uh, if you read uh, this book, you wanna be a little bit more uh, conscious about uh, uh, the period of Meiji uh, where you know long time of a feudal society 
become all of a sudden westernized society and all the people are, uh, you know, look for the, uh, this uh, western culture and western technologies and all this thing. And uh, they are beat way of living, but at the same time, there's uh, this, you know, part of the uh, society remain the same, and the people are enforcing but that particular culture or the tradition as it was before, and uh, so dichotomy of these two worlds um, existing in Japan. Uh, so it's very uh, thoughtful for me about uh, this uh, major era period uh, story and uh, um, it kind of a sad story but uh, I really enjoyed and uh, so this is called the wild geese a gun okay bye